Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today, we're going to talk about the web of Hashimoto's thyroiditis. When we look at patients who come in with hypothyroid or Hashimoto's thyroiditis, oftentimes they go to different doctors trying to figure out why they are fatigued, they're losing their hair, and so forth. There is a very linear approach to treating these types of conditions. In the conventional model, it is you have hypothyroid and you did thyroid replacement hormone. That's it, end of story. In the functional medicine world, sometimes practitioners fall into the trap of being very linear. So they might run a bunch of different tests, whatever they find, they treat. So it's, they have blood sugar problems, then they need chromium. If they have GI issues, they need glutamine, right? It's just a matter of figuring out how a patient's uh, physiology works to really target the problem. So when we look at Hashimoto's thyroiditis in our office, we look at it as a web, a web of different physiological effects. And how do we pull on this web to make the most impact for the Hashimoto's patients, right? So in this picture, we have Hashimoto's right here, which creates hypothyroid. Hashimoto's can be affected by the gut microbiome. So in this web, gut microbiome can be pulling or throwing off your Hashimoto's thyroiditis, right? So antibiotic therapy, um, stress, um, GI infection, all these things can create problems in the gut microbiome. Another one is it affects neurons, right? It affects neurology. So it can affect um, the cerebellum. It, it can create uh, ataxia or balance issues or uncontrolled movements or shaking of the hands and so forth. So it can affect the neurons. Another one is autoimmune, right? Hashimoto's thyroiditis is an autoimmune condition. But what you don't realize is when you have one autoimmune disease, it can create or it has the potential uh, for another autoimmune disease uh, for that patient. So the uh, incidence of autoimmune disease goes up. Um, if you have one type, the likelihood of developing another one goes up significantly. Another one is it affects the endocrine system. One, because the thyroid is an endocrine organ, but it also affects menstruation, um, adrenals, um, different hormones that regulate um, um, minerals and so forth. So it's very important to have the endocrine web uh, intact. Another one is neuroglia. It affects the neuroglia of the brain. It can create inflammation in the brain. It can create havoc, right? So it can create activation of microglia or it can create an immune response in the brain. Another one is hepatic. Hepatic is basically the biotransformation of uh, fat-soluble toxins to water-soluble toxins. And this occurs through the liver and partly with the help of the gallbladder. If you do not have proper functioning detoxification systems of the liver, then it can create havoc on Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Lastly, dysglycemia. There are a lot of people who come in and they have been to other practitioners and they are uh, put on natural thyroid hormone, right? Or they're on a gluten-free diet, but they are eating a lot of sugar, right? Or they have hypoglycemic symptoms and then this glycemia in terms of insulin resistance. So when you have blood sugar dysregulation, every time you have dysregulation of that sugar level, it also creates insulin spikes and then it creates inflammation afterwards. So Sometimes all we need to do is really control blood sugar and everything will start to calm down. So where in this web do we need to pull and tug in order for you to get better with your Hashimoto's thyroiditis? It's not approaching everything and treating everything. It is clinically picking out what is necessary in this web and pulling and tugging on this web in order to balance things out. So this is going to be our next couple of weeks and discussing each one individually in depth and trying to figure out, do you have this problem? Okay. 
So my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.